What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethar here, and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest, where today we are finally checking out another Eden. And this one has been a very long time coming, but it is now finally released in most of the world, so I figured that now would be a great time to share it with you guys, since at least the vast majority of you guys should now be able to check it out for yourselves if you want to. So another Eden is a single-player JRPG by the same people who created the original Chrono Trigger game. Now the game does have a slight hero collection gacha element to it, but we get a bunch of heroes simply through gameplay, and the monetization of this game really isn't that bad at all, so don't worry, in fact, it's some of the best I've seen in any JRPG on mobile. It might scare you a bit, but just trust me on this one, the unlocking mechanic does not ruin another Eden, because the rest of the game is really fun, and at least we don't have any sort of daily missions, energy systems, or the like. In fact, I would say it's rather refreshing to see a mobile game that actually doesn't feel like a mobile game from 2019. Now, we are out on a quest at the moment, and whenever we're walking around outside of a town, we might randomly stumble into combat, as you guys have seen, we did already. And it's a bit like walking around in the grass in a Pokemon game, you know? You can stumble into random Pokemon, and it's the same in this game, you can stumble into random enemies, even while you're out doing a quest, and these monsters that you stumble into aren't even really part of the quest line. And talking about quests, there are lots of them in this game, and you guys should expect to read a lot, as this game is very story-driven and there's a lot to dig through, but if you like that, then this game is just perfect for you guys. Now, the combat system, as you guys saw before, is turn-based, and there's no auto-combat feature. Yes, you heard that right, guys. <laughs> no auto-combat. I know it's 2019, and I know that this is a JRPG, but we're blessed with a manual combat system. Thank you, Another Eden. So the way the combat system works is that we pick which attacks we want to use for each of our heroes, and then we click the attack to start the round and then trigger those attacks. And then after that, the next round will start. And that's pretty much it for the combat system, so it might sound simple, but remember that we have a ton of heroes that we can switch into our team at any given point in time, and each of those heroes will of course have different sorts of attacks, different sorts of abilities, and so picking the right team for the right situation is ultimately what's gonna make the difference between you winning or losing when you're fighting in this game. So let's see, I think we finished the quest, or at least we finished part of the quest, so now we may just have to go back and deliver it, so let's try running up here. Now the map design is really interesting as well, and thank Fully, it's very easy to figure out. We've got this side-scrolling thing going on. You guys can see we can run from side to side. But then, of course, we can also run closer to the screen, as you guys can see we did just there, or further away from the screen as well. But where do we have to go for this quest now? I wonder if it's over here. Oh, yes, it is over here. You guys, if you looked at the minimap, could see this little green exclamation mark that indicated that this is a place we have to go for the main quest that we're doing at the moment. So let's run up here. Now, the controls work decently well. Sometimes I do have a bit of trouble actually running either further away from the screen or closer to the screen. Don't know if that's just me, but apart from that, the controls work very, very well and it's very easy to navigate. So let's have a look at some of the different abilities for each of these heroes. So for example, for this guy, we could choose the Fire Slash. Fire type slash attack on a single enemy uses magic 12 points. A slash attack on all the enemies, let's use that one. And then what about our wizard over here? Earth type magic attack on a single enemy and restores user's HP. That's interesting, but not really interested in using that one at the moment, though. Smash down, let's try using that one, and small slash. And now, as you guys might also have noticed, we can also pick which opponent that each of our heroes should attack. So for this one, we can choose to go up here, and now the other ones are still attacking the red surge bit uh, in the front row. So let's try going for an attack here, and let's see how this works out. Hopefully it works out nicely. All right, we at least stunned one enemy and there were two enemies left that could attack us. So let's take out all of these guys, hopefully with this single round. Nope, nope, that one robot still has some HP left, but at least we're then gonna take him out now, I think. Now to restore our HP, or at least to restore it for free, we actually have to go back to town and sleep in our beds in true JRPG style. I'm loving that. What did we get here? We obtained some materials. I guess we need that for crafting. And look at this, another one of these huge badass robots. Luckily, they don't have a lot of HP. They seem really badass, but uh, they're pretty easy to deal with, typically. Now, the game does take up three and a half freaking gigabyte of space, though. So you just gotta be sure that you have enough space available on your phone. There's very few games on mobile that actually take up this much space, but at least this means that in between the different zones and as we are running around in this map and this world, there are very few loading screens. So that I can appreciate, although I do of course understand that this will be really frustrating if you don't have enough available space on your phone. Now I think part of the reason why this game actually takes up so much space is because of the amazing music found in this game. It sounds 
so beautiful, so relaxing. I'm really enjoying sitting here listening to it while I play. And even sometimes when I don't play anymore, <laughs> I just keep the phone running just to hear the music. That's how much I actually like this music. It's very easy to hear that this was composed with love from whoever the, the composer actually is. If I remember correctly, I think there was some sort of high quality, really well-known composer, audio guy making music for this game. I don't actually recall the name of the person who made the music, but maybe some of you guys know this already, and in that case, let me know in the comment section down below. But high quality music always takes up a lot of space, and I think that's true for this game as well. And look at this, guys. It looks like we have one last guy to defeat here. Now, we could choose to switch out some of our people with the ones over here on the very right side. They are not in our team at the moment, but they can be switched out. Let's see, though. Let's just start attacking with the guys that we're using already and see how difficult this opponent is actually going to be. We're dealing a somewhat nice amount of damage. I think we've taken out just about 45% of the opponent's HP at the moment, and he's not dealing, not dealing that much damage. There's only one of him, and he only does one attack on every turn, and of course we get to do four attacks every turn. Look at this, he's down to, well, I can't actually see how much HP, but very little HP, so I think we're gonna take him out after this round. Let's have a look, yes, there we go. That is awesome. Now I do wanna touch upon how this game monetizes, even though we did actually already talk about it in the beginning. So there's this gacha hero collection system. I haven't felt any need to go in and buy anything so far though. And again, at this point, I feel like it's worth emphasizing that you don't actually need to go in and spend any money on this gacha unlocking system. You get plenty of heroes simply through normal campaign mission gameplay. But of course, if you want to, you can spend some money on some of these in-app purchases and you can also spend the premium currency that you get for free. So for example, say we want to upgrade some of these guys. Let's do a loan encounter and see what we're going to be able to get. I have 345 of the premium currency, which I've gotten for free. Let's see. Nice unlocking mechanic here. And we got a unit called Sauria, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it seems to be a spear-wielding player. Let's go unlock another one. And we got Samora. Oh, look at this guy. He looks... He looks badass. Oh, wow. I definitely want to use this guy. Oh, and there's even a little... A little conversation here. Who are you, buddy? I'm Samora. I'm searching... Uh, the world for the best food. No, he likes his food. He likes his food. Welcome then. I've got all the best food. Wait, that wasn't what it actually said, but <laughs> but that's nice. So we got a pretty badass new guy. Let's add him to our party if we can find him. Where are you, little guy? I want to exchange this this Amy character with Samora. There we go. Now, Samora is only level one, of course, so it might be a bit tricky to start out with this guy, but he does have three out of four stars, though, and it looks like this guy actually has a few quests that we can complete as well. Look at this quest, for example, the Essential Tools, which is gonna reward us 10 Chrono Stones and three low-class scrolls as well. And I think maybe with a bit of luck, do we have some equipment for this guy as well? No, we don't. Okay, but at least we now have him in our party. Look at him. There he goes. I hope he doesn't grow too hungry, though, before we get back to town. And oh, wait. Is there something here? There's something shiny here. Look at that. Oh, we actually found a floating ore. That's so cool. I love this map design. Guys, let me know what you think about another Eden in the comment section down below. Overall, really high quality JRPG and one that I can easily recommend. Now, if you want to play it, you can find the download links in the description box of this video as always. And with that said, it's now time for the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that Tencent has apparently been trying to negotiate with all the many third-party Android app stores in China to get a better revenue share deal. So first of all, I learned today that apparently it's the norm in China that these app stores take a 50% cut of the revenue, which to me is just crazy to hear. And then secondly, I learned that Tencent apparently is so large now that they've been able to renegotiate that and get it down to 30% for their games. And frankly, that seems only fair. I mean, 30% is already a lot to pay to a storefront just to get your game distributed. But then at the same time, it's also kind of scary that Tencent has grown to a size so big that they can now negotiate like this. In any case, though, with this set, let's round up things here for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.